Phuket News TV is the island's newest source of news and information, and it's all in glorious high definition. Put yourself in the picture and expose your business to thousands of English-speaking viewers on the island. It's easy and probably more affordable than you think. Contact sales at classicmedia.co.th or call 076 612 550. Phuket News TV, putting you in the picture. Thank you for joining us on Phuket News TV and once again it's time to look at what's in the Phuket News this week and it's welcome back to the Managing Editor, Simon Ostheimer. Thanks for coming back. Thanks for having me. It's nice to have you back in town. Let's have a look at this week's uh, the Phuket News and the front page is a story that we've been waiting for for quite a long time. Yeah, and it's been sort of postponed month after month um, but this is the airport bus service uh, running now from the airport to Patong. Now, when you came back from the airport, uh, you arrived last week. Did you see the airport bus waiting there for you? Uh, no, it wasn't, but I did arrive very late at night. So, you know, it, possibly the service wasn't running at that time. The story with this one, though, is what happens in the next couple of months. I mean, they've got all the way to Patong, but the idea is to take it down to Katakaron. We don't know what's going to happen down there. Well, if you look on the, the side of the airport bus, it actually says Phuket Airport to Patong, Katakaron. They're already anticipating they're going to be able to, to go there. Um, but as we know, the taxis and tuk-tuks in both those areas are very much against the service. So hopefully, once they see it's not effective business for, the, for their brethren in Patong, then the bus route can be extended. But it's definitely it's, it's, it's the first stop in what should be many. And on the front page of the paper, you've got the picture of the first two passengers who uh, they were a bit bewildered on the day. We actually interviewed them for Phuket News TV, and they were a bit surprised by all the attention they were getting. Yeah, well, I mean, an airport bus service is a very common thing you know, around the world. So... They're kind of uh, probably amused that we're making so much of a fuss about it without realising the immense backstory. And uh, you've got that story on both the front page and also on uh, page three. Yeah. Now, another one of those ongoing stories is the story on page two, and we've got the DSI, the Department of Special Investigations, who have now made their way to Phuket. Yeah, well, Thailand's uh, version of the FBI is it they're commonly referred to. Um, but it's going to be that they're opening up... Um, centres on the island to tackle uh, organised crime. Um, I mean, they're going to be looking at the tuk-tuks and the taxi uh, mafia as well. Um, and or, this is uh, quite important to our readers, is foreign invested businesses. And we're talking about uh, sometimes companies that have even been set up just to buy a property. We have got the, what they call the sort of the ghost nominees. Uh, we're going to have to perhaps be a bit more careful about the way we set up these companies in the future. Yeah. I mean, there's been talk around uh, town of you know, some people saying it's unfair that they're focusing on these foreign invested businesses. There's a lot of you know criminal activity they, they should be looking at. Um, but the reality is they're just checking into the legality of companies. And if all the paperwork is in order, there's no problem. All right, now we move into uh, page five of the Phuket News this week. And another one of those stories where it looks like the officials are slowly getting a little bit serious about cracking down on things. This one's titled Get to Work. Yep. Well, I think this could be uh, the next year or so. We're looking at big changes in, in Phuket. Certainly things like the airport bus is now in action. Um, they're getting serious about tacking sort of illegal taxis and tuk-tuks. Uh, now this story is looking at the illegal uh, beach workers. Um, and as we all know, beaches are basically royal land. They're, they're public land. No one has a right to build anything on it or make a profit from the beach. The reality is a lot of people do build these structures, have salas, um, and the like, and now they're saying everything must be done properly, they want it legalized, you have a permit, uh, and even a uniform to wear. So it could be bringing an order to the beaches, which is a great thing. And it means the tourists can say, oh, it was the guy in the purple uniform that uh, did the scam. As long as not everyone on the beach has the same color. All right. Well, that's gonna be a bit of a wait and see, and I'm sure there's people watching this and who will be reading the story and going, oh, yeah, 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 we've heard it all before. Well, I think it's just, it's very, very exciting because it's kind of all an indication that Bangkok is finally focusing its attention on the island. I mean, for a long time, they've collected the, the tax money from the province and there's big complaint that they've never given anything back. Uh, and now they're taking all these issues very seriously and, and it needs this attention from the capital to make things change. Simon, now uh, we move into the Life magazine, which of course is an important part of the Phuket newspaper each week. And uh, you're featuring an area that a lot of the time we sort of think negatively about, the, the southern part of Thailand. It's all, don't go there, it's dangerous, but uh, not the case. Yeah, well this is focused on uh, Songkla, and one of our reporters went down to do kind of a special travel feature about it. But um, yeah, as you, you hit the nail on the head, those three 
uh, deep south provinces, you know, associated with terrorism. They had the attacks, the bombings, the military, um, and it certainly comes across as being dangerous. But as we show in this story, there's beautiful sort of scenery and, and things to do. Well, the beaches down there from the photos uh, in this article look as good as what we've got in Phuket. Yeah, yeah. Um, I dare say a lot quieter. And I hope that they're also giving the, the impression to visitors, to tourists, you know, that they can go down there. There are things to see and do. Um, sometimes when people think of Thailand, they associate, they don't realise the distance is involved, and this kind of uh, gives an indication to that. Okay, great article there about the uh, down south. Uh, what is the highest point in Phuket? Because it looks like on page three of Life This Week, there's a little bit of conjecture. Um, well, it's long been held um, that the highest point in Phuket, uh, the highest... I would have thought it was your office in uh, the Phuket News. <laughs> I don't go quite to the top, but uh, that it was just by Patong. Um, but then we've had basically a great story here about this, this man who, who believed it was not and took it upon himself to, to locate the highest point. And it turns out it's actually in Kamala. Rather than climbing up the, all the hills as he seems to have done, couldn't he have just got a uh, some machine and pointed it? Uh, <laughs> it seems to be a hard way to find out the, the height of the hills in Phuket. Yeah, but I'm sure he's sort of an avid hiker, and like you know, the, the journey and the experience was a reward in itself. And it looks like uh, he's got the proof uh, on his altimeter. Uh, other articles, uh, in fact, there's a, a lot of interesting stuff in life this week. On page uh, 10 and 11, we've actually got the article about uh, the Songkla region in the Deep South, so uh, you can really learn a lot about what's going on down there. Yeah. Uh, the film review this week, Karma Town, what's that about? Well, the, the film is Only God Forgives. Uh, it stars Ryan Gosling, um, and it's set in Bangkok, uh, in Bangkok Underworld. Um, it's actually been causing a lot of controversy like for the extremist of violent scenes uh, that are involved. Um, but, um, well... You can basically read the review to, sort of, to see what we think about it. There we go. Okay, another action-packed uh, edition of the Phuket News this week. Available where? Well, 600-plus outlets, as we keep saying every week around the island. But, I mean, that's all the, the major bookshops, uh, like Central Festival, where we are here. Um, you can sort of pick it up, um, Asia Books, B2S, um, all of the stalls. So, yeah, across the Phuket, out now. And uh, four weeks of reading. Uh, welcome back to the big seat, and thanks for speaking to us today. Thanks for having me. Simon Ostheimer on uh, looking at the Phuket News and our special presentation here at Tablespoon. Thank you for joining us.